It's our first vacation that we've actually taken like a day off work for. And it's our first kind of like vacation vacation. Like we went to Shanghai, but this is like vacation vacation. Yeah. We have traveled all the way down here to here. We've just got this last little leg to go. This last little leg that's almost two hours. Yeah. Oh no. Gonna walk with me over here and I'll show you the drinks that we have. Um, complimentary in our hotel room. First of all, we have an orange ice peak. This one actually doesn't look doesn't look bad. It looks like, like an orange soda. Yeah, but like cool. And then we have this one. Dark plum soup. And I don't know why, but it just really seems like something my grandpa would choose. You know? The dark plum soup. Yeah. We love that. I don't know if I'm gonna try it. And I think we should go try something. Let's do it. It's like midnight, let's go. Just a little beer, a little beer cart. Very cute. We just arrived to Xi'an by train about 20 minutes ago here at the hotel. And this is the little like night, the nightlife. The nightlife here is great. And you know, Alex and I are crazy nightlife people. So it's like midnight and uh, we got to choose somewhere, <laughs> somewhere to eat. Either this place or that place, honestly. I feel like this place is as busy as on the corner. There's okay, there. it's right on the corner, right across from us. Gotta try it out, you know. We gotta do it. Oh, it's like, you know, 12.15. We've been on a train for four hours. We both worked today, and neither of us really had the energy to translate well, so. We're very grateful that our server stuck with us through that. He was really patient. He was great. He waited. Yeah. And we ordered skewers and noodles. We gotta go to the Goose Pagoda. The Goose, the, yeah. The, the Goose Pagoda. Pagoda. The Bell Tower, the Drum Tower. All the towers. All the towers tomorrow. Maybe a show tomorrow afternoon. We'll see how it goes. Um, we had like a minor freak out on the train on the way here when we realized that we are so accustomed to life here that neither of us brought credit cards with us. We only have our phones and passports. And But I was like, no, I think it's gonna be fine. Alex was like, I don't know. I was like, you're right. So I panic texted some of my friends. I was like, hey guys, what happens if I don't have my credit card? Can I just use Alipay? And they were like, of course. And I was like, okay, just, just confirming that I'm not gonna be homeless. And they're like, of course it is fine. And I was like, Great. It's, a, it's a good thing I ordered you some noodles as well because these are kind of smaller than I thought they might be. <laughs> These are the noodles that we were told we must try when we come to Xi'an and we're like checking things off like check 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 we literally just got here. These are the Yang Biang noodles. I did my research. Yang Biang noodles are special because the character for Biang is like the most intricate, difficult character to write because it's just there's so much going on that it's in like modern time. Wow. Get it. We be mixing. But how is it? It's good. Spicy? Oh my gosh, did you see the comment on our um, wedding photo shoot day that someone was like I respect how um, how Alex is, is eating the noodles. <laughs> they said like, he eats noodles very authentically. <laughs> what a great compliment. I like how authentically he eats 
the noodles. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Xi'an. It's bright, it's sunny, it's hot, but not too hot. And we've just purchased our tickets to go inside the drum tower. No, the bell tower. The other one's the drum tower. We have both tickets, but they're not for an hour. So we figured it out. We're gonna do a walk around and then we can head on inside. This is what happens when you try and buy theater tickets. Hi, cool guy. Hi, cool it's guy. an automated message. It's How does he know I speak English? Who? Hi, cool guy. Yeah, I don't know. Stuck little googly eyes on the dragons that are right on the roof beam. What? Look at the little googly eyes. Where? It looks like they've put little googly eyes on the dragons. There's like a, a shop down this way where you can like put on the traditional outfit and get like full makeover and everything, and then you wear the outfit around all day. It's so pretty. Honestly, it really like adds to the experience just like seeing all the girls getting all dressed up and walking around and taking pictures. It's so cute. I love it. <coughs> I'm highly considering it. Wow. Is the Xi'an bamboo cups? Legendary. This is the drum tower. Our ticket went for both the bell tower and the drum tower. I do agree with the reviews I read online that the drum tower is just cooler. I wish that we were here to see the show. There's like, uh, what, like eight, maybe eight different show times throughout the day inside, um, but we just missed it and we didn't know when the shows are. So I think we might try to come back and check it out because it looked like it would be really cool. And yeah, I really like this. I like wandering around. I liked taking pictures here. This was really nice. Yeah, it's very cute. Yeah. Is it a video? Nice. The obsession with red doors continues. I always find the beautiful red doors. We've just stumbled upon the Xi'an Mosque. And I didn't even know it was in this area, but we were like, here it is, let's go in and check it out. And this is really cool. Like, we've hardly even gone inside and I'm already like, I think this might be my favorite spot here. It's just like, it, yeah, it's like unrestored, but still like good condition. But like, you can just see like really how old it is, you know, like, it's so cool. There's two big turtles. I just thought that I was getting my favorite mountain potatoes and now we're realizing that it's not potatoes at all and I am disappointed but we will try. Give it a try. 
some meat pots don't. It's like fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not like, wow, that's great. Put so much seasoning on it, I expected so much more flavor. Yeah. Jello. It's like eating spicy jello. It's like mushy spice. Spice jello. Ah. We found the real mountain potatoes. Mountain potatoes. I call them mountain potatoes because when me, Rachel, and Robin were on. Uh, uh, in Yongchun? Or no? In, no. Uh, we were at Jungjajia. And that's where we found mountain potatoes. And we always really liked them. So I hope they're good. The famous hamburgers that we're supposed to try. Well, we'll be back for those. We got our ticket for the famous Xi'an hamburger. You think it's a ticket? I think it's the wrapper. Oh. Oh. I think they're gonna put it in there. I think you're right. It is the wrapper. Everything on this street just costs 15 kwai. Like the answer to everything. How much does it cost? 15 kwai. Which is great. That's like three dollars. For food anyways, that's been the case so far. Yeah, for food. So we had a nice nap time. Um, we went back to the hotel, we had a nap, now we're back. We're ready for some snacks before we head to the city wall for sunset. Let's do it. Success! Yep. All right. It's fresh. It's hot. When I told my friends from work that we were traveling to Xi'an, they said, this is the number one thing I have to try. This and the noodles, obviously. We tried the noodles last night, and now we're trying the hamburger. He was adding too much like, liquid as he was chopping it, mm -hmm. and that's why it's so like, nice and like, juicy. <laughs> the obsession with the red door started when we took our wedding photos and I messaged the people on WeChat and I had help and I was like, where is the red door? I want to go to the place that has the red door. And they were like, okay, crazy. This is pretty incredible. We biked a half of a quarter, like not even a quarter. And I had read reviews that the biking would be, you know, quite like rough and rocky because you're biking on these like cobblestone, um, the wall. But the way that these bikes are, the ones that we got, it's like you're leaning really far forward and my palms are like all red, which is because I have to put so much weight on them to like ride forward. Uh, so our plan is not to bike for too much longer before we turn in the bikes and then just continue walking. So cute. We were in a car in this absolute just like traffic standstill. So at the intersection we were just like, we're getting out and then we got out and now we're here at the ever bright pedestrian um, walkway, which is kind of like a mall that walkway. That ever bright. Yeah. So let's go figure it out. This intersection is so crazy. It's so busy. This is where everyone in Xi'an is. Why is everyone yelling? Does screaming make it go higher? Oh, maybe. Okay, we worked it out. Screaming makes the water go higher. Those are big skewers. <laughs>
We made it to the end of this section of the walking path. This is the Wild Goose Pagoda, which is another like major landmark in Xi'an that we've come to see. Um, and it's just so busy, it's so crowded. And as we're walking around, we're just reflecting that there were certain areas just that are like made for like, have, like having so many people, you know? Um, and I don't feel like there is an area like this particularly in Beijing. Maybe there is, but I, if there is, I haven't been there. I think we're definitely going to be splitting this into two different vlogs. So tomorrow, when we wake up early in the morning, we are going to the Terracotta Warriors. So I will see you tomorrow morning for the Terracotta Warriors. Good night!